Okay, now you just logged into Aweber after creating an account and what you're going to do is you are going to create a list. So what I love about Aweber is you can create different lists based on who you're targeting. So you can create a list for customers, for potential customers. You can also create a list for uh, business opportunity prospects, like people that you think might be interested in the business. I would not recommend combining the two because you can send a broadcast message to everybody that's on one or more lists, okay? So um, that's what's really cool, and I will show you how to do that in another training. But for now, what we, want, what we want to do is we want to create a list. So let's assume you're creating a um, prospect list, and you are um, going to be doing giveaways, and so these people are going to opt in so that you can um, get access to their information because then what you're going to do is you're then going to provide them with value and they're going to want to buy from you because it takes seven to ten times for people to be exposed to your product before they decide to buy. And so what we're going to do is let's pretend like we're creating a prospect list. So and you want to get as specific as possible so that when you look at all because you can have tons of tons of lists and so you want to be as specific as possible so that you will know what that list is for <laughs> all right so first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on manage lists so we're going to click on that and then what you're going to do is you're going to create create click on create a list so create a list and by default you want to put um the name and your website um and this is right here this is what's going to appear on your emails okay so you need to have an address because at the bottom of the email um you need to have like an address so they know where it came from okay so make sure you have your address and all that but this is what they're going to see who it's from so i might say like um you know if if you want if you're if you're afraid they might forget who you are um, I might say like uh, Michelle with social media tips with Michelle. Now remember, they're not going to see this whole thing because there's only so many characters they will see, okay? But this is just an example of something that you might want to do, okay? Just a side thought. Send your email. Um, if you have your own domain, that is totally great. Um, I personally, even though it says to, even though they discourage you using a Gmail account, go ahead. I'm still, I'm not having any issues by using a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, if you don't create one, okay. So put your Gmail account and then hit next step. Okay. Now this is the name of the list. So I'm going to call this my, uh, let's see my, uh, mascara, uh, prospect list okay and all right briefly describe the emails your subscribers are going to receive so if they decide to unsubscribe it's going to share with them what this this description part right so just FYI so this is like a my um, my valuable <laughs> prospects okay I don't know I don't really know what I don't know next step. <laughs> I really don't know if they see that or not, to be honest with you. Um, but feel, put something in there, okay? Now, English. You're going to leave that as English. Subject line, confirm your subscription. Uh, choose an approved, wait, okay, approve your confirmation. We're going to turn this off, okay? So really, what you have here doesn't matter. Just go down here and click approve message and create list. Okay, the list is created, but you have to go to list options next and then click on list settings. And here's the information, mascara prospect list. This is my ID number. This is the description from the address, the contact information. And if you have a different email address that you want to be notified every time somebody opts in, Go ahead and put it in there, and uh, if, or your Gmail account. If you want to be notified every time somebody opts in, I love getting my notifications when people opt in. So go ahead and put it in there. Um, and then what you want to do 
is you then went over here, we're going to do, there's three different main areas when I go on list options. So we just looked at the basic settings. Now we're going to click personalize your list and just look at this. Okay, I'm going to leave that, leave all this. Don't do anything with this. Just leave it all. Okay, then we're going to go down and click confirmation message. And this is where we are going to turn it off. Am I sure? Yes. Okay. And that's it. Hit save settings. Okay. Guess what? Your list is created. I now have a list called the mascara prospect list. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this as simple as possible. And now what we're going to do is we are now going to create a sign in form.